The following are three basic elements comprising the creation of the immanent planetal cosmic art form. 1. Understanding the Psi Bank Matrix The Psi Bank is the key psychic tool with 2080 units. These are the registration of the original Cyrus transmission codes upon the orbit of the Earth. Everything is contained within those codes or 2080 units. The Psi Bank Matrix creates an extended telepathic structure around the planet, coincident with the electromagnetic field. The electromagnetic field extends at least 30,000 miles into space. It is possible to create telepathic structures that extend to become co-equivalent with the electromagnetic field. At this point, we will experience and understand that this is actually the palpable extension of our collective mind, and in this collective mind, we are participating in thought frequencies of different beings who are broadcasting from different places, like Cyrus B and other points of galactic civilization. We will feel we are co-creating with our planetary field and that galactic force fields are co-creating with us. At this stage, we will realize the collective human being as a biopsychic force field, creating through the understanding of the Psi Bank as the regulating mechanism of the noosphere. This process establishes an increasingly expanded telepathic structure around the planet. This telepathic structure becomes the co-creative mechanism that operates beams from the galactic civilizations that are now able to work with us. This is the key to working with the Psi Bank. In this investigation, the maps of Earth ascending are very important to study. For comprehension of the planetal cosmic art hole, study maps 44 and 48. These are key to understanding the process of mutating into the psychogenetic state of mind and being, the homonospherecus. Like it says in Earth Ascending, in the seamless interaction of ourselves and our environment, we may fathom the basis of radiosonic synesthesia. This is the next stage we will enter. This is so dramatically different that what we are experiencing now, that it is comical. 2. Understanding the Crystal Through working with the crystal, we will learn to create the fusion of elements of consciousness with the elements of nature. In learning this, we will understand how to reintegrate the symmetry principle of the crystal back into our own being. This is how we balance the right-handedness and left-handedness and how we maintain the stabilization of the rediscovered harmonic lost chord within ourself. The crystal is a valuable tool and instrument in this time of transition and future days. The crystal will replace the machine in the new golden age. The crystal teaches us how we are evolved from a solar crystalline cosmic transaction that sets off certain biochemical changes. The crystal will help us understand how to stabilize and project the frequencies of these biochemical changes occurring within us in our interaction with nature. The crystal is also a part of personal evolution. By adopting a crystal for personal use and studies, the crystalline frequencies can be absorbed by our psychosensory system. At the same time, your brainwaves and biopsychic radiation are received and stored by the crystal. This sets up a subliminal telepathic consciousness feedback loop that is very important in the development of your capacity as a cosmic medium. 3. Creation of the Planetal Cosmic Art Hole as Communal Planet Art Network Fusion Events it is in the nature of the individual soul and spirit evolution to extend into the noosphere and work with others collectively. In this process, you often work with people from other parts of the world that you do not know at a personal level. This is of no matter. Telepathic resonance is all that matters. For example, it is possible to telepathically contact someone in Siberia and someone else in Africa to work on a planetary project. You might send out a message through your concentrated thought waves that says, OK, let's work on this part. 
Today we'll send a red fusion stream into Antarctica in the key of F. This is how we extend our spirit and soul evolution. This possibility depends on a new common structure of knowing. The structure of knowing is the synchronic order of daily practices set within the cube matrix of the Holomind perceiver. Those who continuously practice these codes will learn how to establish telepathic communications through them, as well as how to establish the cosmic cube as the frequency library of a new telepathic language. We will learn how to sing the cube. This pan-fusion is social communal fusion. This is the point where the legacy of rock and roll is synthesized into the formal structures of communal gatherings. The resonant nodes that hold the planetary telepathic field together. The resultant crescendos of this activity would be reminiscent of a rock concert, but far more telepathic. Large well-coordinated tribal synesthetic music events where everyone participates. Scientific visual, auditory, olfactory, gustatory and tactile events in coordination with synchronized happening in other places. Since telepathy is our focus in this next phase of evolution, traveling will become increasingly less important. Telepathic technologies such as bilocation will eventually replace the need to travel physically, and instantaneous thought transfer will replace technological forms of communication, such as cell phones and email. We will know intuitively when events are occurring around the world. This is the stage known as Planet Art Network Communal Fusion. These events will form the harmonic structure of the creative evolution of the planetal cosmic art form. Everyone involved in these events will be tuned into a telepathic noospheric structure being collectively constructed around the planet. This planetal cosmic art project is also assisted by beings from other civilizations that are attuned to these events and are assisting human evolvement into higher frequencies. At this point, we will receive great communications and will be enacting our roles through archetypal means. There will be no end to wonder. When we evolve wholeheartedly into an art planet, with the realization of the planet as a work of art, crystallization of the planetal cosmic art hall, then we will realize we ourselves, each and every one of us, are the artist that the planet is calling on to instrument evolution into the supermental superhuman dimensional cycle of galactic consciousness. <laughs>